Okay, everybody, you're gonna have to pardon the background noise, but I wanted to show you a very common thing that dies on an electric start generator. It's the starter solenoid. Now, you're gonna have to ignore all the wiring I have right here. I had it all tore apart because it was in the way of the solenoid. Uh, what I have here is a bunch of uh, relays um, that run this generator for my irrigation. They automatically turn the generator on or off when there's a demand for irrigation. That's a whole nother uh, uh, video for a different time. What I wanted to show you here is the starter solenoid. Have you ever encountered that your electric start generator will still start by the pull cord, but it'll stop running right here? It's these cheap little starter solenoids right here. And they'll come on any brand. This is a Duromax. This is like a $300, uh, I think it's a 6,500 watt generator. Anyways, first thing you gotta check is that you've got 12 volts in your battery or close enough. And then you'll uh, buy yourself a new solenoid. This right here was about $15 at O'Reilly's. Go down to your local parts store, auto parts store, and tell them you need a starter solenoid from a 1991 Ford F-150. Sorry I'm yelling here, but I got this other little generator going. So your 1991 Ford F-150 starter solenoid is like the best starter solenoid ever invented. It's about $15. If you couldn't hear me, that's one, five, fifteen dollars. So what you'll do is you'll disconnect this line and this line off of your existing starter solenoid. And it doesn't matter which one goes here, and it doesn't matter which one goes here. Because all this solenoid is doing is completing the circuit when it gets a little bit of voltage, and I'll come back to that. Anyways, before you do this, disconnect the ground on your generator. Next thing you gotta do is the very base plate of your starter solenoid, right? That is your ground, in case anything shorts out. So I just wrapped a wire and followed it back here to the ground on the engine block. You could do a better job than this, okay? And I will too, I'm gonna solder it on there. But for uh, show sakes here and instructional whatever, I, uh, I just wrapped it on there, okay? The last thing you gotta worry about connecting to this is this, on the back of your starter solenoid on the existing generator, there's gonna be all these wires. Leave them all alone and find the black and white striped cable. Now, there'll be two of them on there. One of them is joined up with a solid black wire, as you'll see here. Ignore that one. You wanna find the solo one, right? Then ignore this, this is just where I cut it off. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wire it into the S. Never wire it into the I. That's for old vintage antique shit that you won't have to deal with. That's for old style of pickup trucks. S, only S is what you're gonna wire it to. Now I don't have this one wired into here because it's actually continued through this circuit over here. But just remember, where you see this white one is actually where this is gonna hook into, the black and white striped one. You won't have this white one, okay? So, that's it. So you can go to your key and turn it on. But instead of the key, I have it wired into this little generator. This is the starter one that starts all the bigger generators for irrigation. So as soon as I plug this one in, you'll see this one turn on. You ready? Three, two, one. And that's it. Sorry for the backfire, that was loud. I don't know if you heard that. But anyways, that's it. Now, one last thing I'm gonna show you real fast before we're done here, keep this under four minutes. If you want to know if it is your starter solenoid, get a screwdriver, pop these caps off, and touch from this one to this one, and it will start your engine. You're just completing the circuit across the solenoid, but you'll do that on the old one here. So get your screwdriver and touch this one and this one at the same time, across each other, and that will fire it up. And that's how you know your little cheapo starter solenoid is what went out. This is very common in these little generators of any brand. These cheap little starter solenoids are junk, Get yourself one for a 1991 F-150, baby. That's how you wired in. If you have any questions, message me. I'm more than happy to show you how to do this, baby. Anyways, good luck. This ought to work for you.